What is up, internet? By now, you've heard, maybe you haven't, but the fluke regulations, the summer flounder limits are in uh, and confirmed for the 2022 season. Uh, last night, the Fisheries Council met and confirmed that we will uh, go forward with option two on the table, which includes a slot limit and an earlier uh, season start date. So officially, May 2nd to September 27th, and anglers will be able to keep three fish one uh, 18 inches or greater, and one within the micro slot limit of 17 to 17.99 inches. Uh, those are the official uh, regulations uh, set forth by the council, but I don't feel like those were the, uh, the regulations that were on the table uh, at the beginning of the meeting. So the meeting was held last night uh, virtually, and anybody could attend and uh, give public comment. At the beginning of the meeting, a uh, motion was brought to uh, make a vote on option two, the slot limit. Uh, the council uh, denied that vote. It was not passed, and the preferred option remained the, the same season as 2021 with three fish at 17 and a half inches. After a uh, public comment period, which was very long, and there were many comments, uh, and motion was brought back up to um, have option two with the slot limit, and that's when the option passed. So uh, many of the anglers uh, and fishermen um, captains and whatnot who commented during the public comment were in favor of the slot limit and uh, basically just wanted to make this video kind of share what I thought and uh, maybe start a discussion here in the comments and uh, see what the vast majority of anglers out there think because during the meeting it was very apparent that the majority of the speakers were in favor of a slot limit um, but after the meeting last night if you were to go on Facebook or Instagram uh, I was very clear that the vast majority of the anglers uh, who fish for fluke were not happy uh, with the regulations. Many, many negative comments uh, online. Uh, thus, a bit too late. Uh, it seems um, we're kind of in this weird place now where we have uh, a lot of people speaking in favor at a meeting and then a lot of people who, um, who were not in favor, not showing up to the meeting and then just being disgruntled uh, with the results. Uh, personally, this is my personal opinion, the opinion of Matt Sarantino, I'm not in favor of the the slot limit, I think it's going to be very difficult to find um, find a limit in that micro one inch slot. Um, it's less than an inch, in fact, uh, especially for the guys fishing the ocean um, and going to the you know the artificial reef sites um, for for big fluke. It's going to be a tough ride if you go out to Garden State North and you each uh, can only keep one fish that's greater than 18 inches and filling that slot in that. Or filling that micro slot from 17 to 17.99 is going to be difficult. I, a lot of the comments um, from the guys uh, and the girls who, who were in favor, um, bay fishermen, uh, a lot of people from South Jersey commenting that they caught numerous fish between 17 and 17.99 but couldn't seem to find a keeper uh, in the years prior. And I'm sure that that's true. I don't think that the slot limit is going to solve that problem for you guys. Uh, obviously, fish under 18 inches in years previous have gone back. So, of course, there's there's many of them. If everyone in the fleet is catching them and tossing them back, surely you're going to catch those fish again. Uh, I think you'll find this year, it's my opinion, that uh, once we start taking those 17 to 18 inch fish out of the stock, um, that the fleet's not going to catch those. You're going to find this year uh, all, you know, hundreds and hundreds of your fish are going to be 16 and three quarters. Uh, or you're not going to be able to find a fish under 18 inches. Um, so just interesting to see uh, what will play out. Not sure what's going to happen uh, with the tournaments um, this year. Uh, as, as I organize tournaments myself and as a tournament organizer, I think that uh, we're going to see just all one fish tournaments. I, I think we're going to probably lose the bag limits and the bag limit Calcuttas. Uh, simple reason being because if you have four guys on a boat, you can only keep four fish uh, over 18 inches, which sounds like plenty enough uh, for a bag limit of three fish, but that's just not how tournament fishing works. If you have um, four fish that are, say, you know, four to six pounds, you got a good day, you have, you know, nice solid fish, uh, and then you catch a seven, an eight, or a nine pounder, or maybe a couple bigger ones, um, legally you're not going to be allowed to keep those fish, uh, but I don't see a lot of people releasing them. Uh, at the same time, I think you might see a lot of, a lot of culling of fish, a lot of uh, disregarded of, of dead carcasses that are going back so people can keep uh, a larger 
uh, over slot. And I think that's something that's very dangerous. And I, I don't think it's just going to happen with the tournaments. I think it's just going to happen in general. Um, you know, maybe an angler has a 22 or a 24 inch keeper and then they catch their, their personal best. Um, do you think they're going to uh, keep that 22 incher and, and let the 26, 27 inch fish go? Do you think they're going to keep the 27 inch fish and then call or discard the dead 22 incher? I mean, obviously that is a, a measure of the integrity of the angler. Of course, you know, if you've already killed your over slot, you, you don't get another one. So uh, from a legality standpoint, that would be the one that you had to keep. Um, I guess we'll just have to see what the regulations do and uh, how people how people react to them. Um, but I uh, wanted to come on here and create this video and kind of open a place where we could discuss it and uh, get your opinion, see what you guys think. Um, again, I know a lot of people are in favor of that 17 to 18 inch slot. I know a lot of people are in favor of the earlier season starting in May, uh, which I think, again, is, is very beneficial um, to those fishing in South Jersey, those fishing the back bays. Surely uh, you'll see an increase, but I think those anglers that are fishing the ocean, uh, the folks fishing uh, in North Jersey, uh, where the rivers kind of dry up a little bit earlier, um, might not be might not be so thankful. Um, we also have guys that will come uh, from New York. Uh, New York regulations are four fish at 18 and a half inches, um, so they kind of will have that battle uh, on the northern side of the state. Um, as far as the special regulation management zones, special management zones are um, Delaware Bay and Island Beach State Park, status quo uh, for those two. So you can still keep two fish uh, from land from Island Beach State Park at 16 inches, and you can still keep three fish 17 inches or greater uh, when fishing out of Great Bay. So uh, again, not sure what's going on with the special management zones. There's been no data driven um, to say whether or not those zones are working or what they're doing to the fish stocks. So at the meeting, it was status quo. Um, honestly, some of the council members uh, in regards to the special management zones didn't know the current regulations, didn't know about the special management zone. So I think that just speaks volumes to the council's um, lack of effort uh, in this matter. And 100%, uh, I think this decision was absolutely shaped by the public comment, which might not be the norm uh, for these meetings, but it definitely uh, was the way it went down last night. So if you're unhappy or disgruntled, be proactive. You got to go to the meetings in the future. Um, you, we got to do a better job of posting them. I think uh, we can do that as well at Fisherman's Headquarters. Make sure that you guys are aware of these meetings coming up uh, in the future and make sure that everybody's voice is heard. But sound off in the comments. Let me know what you think about the 2022 fluke regulations. How's it going to impact your fishing? How do you think it's going to impact the tournaments? Uh, do you think it's good? Obviously, it's an increase of about 21% uh, totally. Uh, we get a longer season. You can still keep three fish. You just got to find them in that micro slot. So let us know what you think. And uh, we'll be here all season long fishing for fluke either way. So 